Well, there he is. Spine breaker. The breaker of spines. The ender of all hope. And a unicorn. <laughs> what are you doing down there? <laughs> Guys, welcome back. Welcome back to our Mega Mod of Survival. Yes, we're currently in the volcano. I came here to eye off what might be my next foe. Yes, it won't be long before we're coming up against this guy down here. For those of you who do not know or are unfamiliar with old Spinebreaker, he's a, he's a force to be reckoned with. He's not one you want to be messing with. He's actually, oh my gosh, we got a pe Is that a Pegasus? That's Pegasus. That's a Nightmare Pegasus. Wait, Nightmare Pegasus is normally black. I haven't seen a Nightmare Pegasus at all this entire series. But uh, yes, Spinebreaker is going to be on our cards very, very soon. We will find ourselves on opposite ends of the battlefield as, as well. Man, I swear we've got like every rare dinosaur down here. We've got, we got, <laughs> don't do wyverns. We've got manticores. We even got another tempest. A tempest like the one that we tamed up last episode. Yes, this guy here. I'm interested in taking him out for a little bit of a spin today. See what he's capable of. I want to see how much of a destruction machine he is. How much he brings the storm. I want to see if he's like our, our kind of next step in power level to see what he can give us. But uh, there's only one way to find out and that's by taking him out, getting him maxed out and uh, seeing what he can do. But guys, before we get into the video, if you haven't yet done so, please go ahead, bash that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. And hey, if you're looking for something to do after this video, go and check out my new shorts channel. We're just uploading little clips from our previous episodes and series it's pretty much a little fail compilation a massive fail compilation it's a fun time it looks like a lot of you guys have gone and checked that out already so thanks to everybody who's gone ahead and done that but let's get back into this um that's megapithecus there's like one of every prime evil down here i mean we're gonna get old tempest here leveled up pretty darn fast at this rate uh especially actually i forgot these guys got like over a million health a lot of the time. This guy's got just under. But um, hey, we might as well take these guys down. We're gonna need some essence out of them sooner or later. Uh, in fact, Megapithecus was one of the one energies that we didn't actually have. Well, we didn't actually have any of it. We had to go and look for some just yesterday. Uh, but look at that, 229 levels already. That's what I was looking for. Some easy leveling. And it turns out we just like came across a gold mine of everything we could possibly need. I don't wanna put too many levels into health, so let's just stick to 50. A little bit of speed, obviously, always goes a long way. Uh, and then I think the rest are, yeah, 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 yeah. They're all going into melee damage. We got to see what he can do. We got to see what our Tempest here can deal. We got to see what we're working with. Uh, because, hey, if all goes according to plan today, we may very well be facing what I like to call, what I think is probably the toughest boss in this entire mod pack. Which is crazy to say because we've still got like a whole bunch more. There's still a whole other tier of, in fact, maybe we go looking at those guys today. Ooh, maybe we go ahead and we open up the arena, the battle arena, the arena of doom. Oh, you know what? That actually sounds like a pretty good idea. Before we do that, though, where's that manticore? There was one last primeval. In fact, there's probably more. I actually haven't had a good look, but I know that there is definitely one more primeval around here somewhere who's just itching to die. Also, is another one? Another nightmare pegasus. Nightmare Pegasus is pretty strong, I'm pretty sure. But I think we're kind of beyond that at this point. We've, uh, there he is. There he is. He's hiding in the smolderingness. 187,000 damage. Not bad. Um, it doesn't really show me how strong my tornado is, though. So I think we've got to go and test that out as well. Maybe, um, do we have anyone around? Any other primevals? Maybe? I don't think so. Just enforcers. Snakes that, for whatever reason, are kind of stuck. Anyways, I'm pretty sure I saw a Mr. Fister on the way in here, so we can just duck on out of here and have a look outside of the volcano instead. Um, there was definitely one nearby. I just don't remember which direction I came from. Is he, here he is. Oh, no, that's Godzilla. That's Godzilla. Hey, look, if we got any more levels, I mean, this is a good opportunity to get them, so let's do this thing. Tornado activate. Go and, uh, go and tornado Godzilla for me, will you? Have we got it? Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, it's not dealing like a whole lot of damage. Only like 7,000 per... Yeah, okay, there it goes. There it goes. Yeah, it's it's okay, but it's 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 got nothing on my nibbles. So I guess we'll just go nibble, nibble old Godzilla to death instead. Why not? In fact, we can just stack our powers. Look, I don't know if our uh, I don't know if our tornado is going to be too helpful. Unfortunately, against some of the crazier bosses. In fact, I'm starting to think maybe Tempest isn't at all either. We might need to. What's What's on the other side of Godzilla fighting him right this second? Is that... Is that a Dodo Wyvern? 
Hold on. It is. It is a dead or alive. I don't think he was actually trying to fight Godzilla either. I think he was purely just coming for me. Well, thank you very much for your energy. It will go to good use. You can trust me on that one. Well, that ended up being uh, a lot more... A lot more... A lot more... I don't know the word I'm looking for, but we ended up with more stuff than we had originally planned for. So that's actually really, really nice. Also, what have we got over here? <gasps> Skana! Skana is the only other Pugnacia boss that we haven't yet fought. Some of you may remember seeing this giant old scorpion. Not to be mistaken for the Sesarasu scorpions. Uh, this guy here... I don't know what he's capable of. I don't know what his attacks are. I don't know how destructive he is. But from what I've heard, he's quite a force to reckon with. And hey, look, maybe I maybe I just... You know what? Let's test him out. Let's test him out. Let's go and send a little tornado down at him and just see what happens. Let's see, what, see, if, anything, see if anything crazy goes down. I mean, our tornado is doing pretty darn good. Nothing in the scheme of 144 million. In fact, it's still going. I don't know. Like... It's still like a million damage, I think. Maybe not. Yeah, no, it has. It's still like a million damage. That's pretty good. But I'm not going to drop 144 of them, especially now that it's getting... Yeah. Got destroyed by Skana, the purveyor of nightmares. Um, I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit nervous about this one. Not going to lie. It looks like he's got a big old poison cloud that he uses. And if he's using poison clouds, we're going to be in for a bit of a wild... A wild ride, I think. I don't know how I'm going to go at surviving that one there. But there's only one way to find out. And that's by... Taking him on, which I don't know if I'm ready to do. I really don't. I really have no idea if we're going to do that yet or not. But for now, let me just get Tempest out of our little giga, our little pile of baby gigas down there. Um, and I think we're going to leave. Look, I think we're going to leave Skana for a little bit. I'm a little bit nervous about that one. Just, just the not knowing what to expect aspect of it all. Um, we're just going to drop Tempest up here. Tempest, you've been good, but you're not the game changer I was hoping for, unfortunately. I feel like Spinebreaker may fulfill that role a little bit better, but that's all good. That's A-OK -okay by me. We got other things to look at. We got other things to do. And like I was mentioning earlier, we got a big old arena that needs a bit of a play with. This thing right here, this here is, we're getting pretty end game with the Pugnacia mod right about now. This is where things get pretty crazy. <laughs> this is where things get very, very crazy. I don't even know if we got enough metal. We do. We can craft it. Let's craft it up. But I'm pretty sure we also need, like, some items to sacrifice to actually get this thing going. I can't exactly remember how the whole thing works. But should we find out? Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's do this thing. So, where's my dragon? Where is that beautiful beast? My baby. There you are. There you are. Let's go and throw down this arena somewhere. Nowhere near my base, preferably. But I also... I don't really know where we're going to put this thing. Normally, you try and find somewhere nice and flat. I could place it. No, we can't place it up there. What are you talking about? I guess we could place it like out here. This might actually not be a bad idea, to be honest. Um, it's it's big. It's big. It's massive. It's a huge structure. If I could just find like that could work. Now maybe not. What if I place it like right on the tip of this little coast? Let me try this out. I think this could work. Hey, yo, yo, yo! Who's fighting me right now? All right, we're just gonna place it right here. So. A water arena. Is that really a good idea? <laughs> probably not, right? We probably don't need a water arena. But uh, as you can see, the arena is encapsulated by these four giant tech pillars. And, uh, well, once we activate it, it pretty much just unleashes a whole set of bosses that we've never dealt for, never dealt with before. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about it, but I think we just got to do it. We'll say, you may be able to tell, my throat isn't 100% healed. I thought it was. I thought I was I thought I was healthy again, but uh, I guess I guess I'm still a little bit sick. What are you going to do, though? What are you going to do? Let's have a look, though. Let's see what we got. I should probably get myself a chest piece. But uh, no, we're not going to commence the fight just yet. We're not ready for that. Oh, we can't. We're going to get um, these resources. So 1,000 polymer, 5,000 metal ingots, and 1,500 elements. I think we're going to move this arena. I'm not digging this spot. Not really flying it. Not really, yeah, vibing with it. Where else can I put it, though? I need somewhere flat-ish. I guess I could actually put it right here. Problem is, a lot of trees. And they're going to get away. Get in the way, sorry. Um, if I could put it on, like, the tippy top. It's probably not ideal, is it? No, because then we've got, like, a vaginal floating island. All right, what if I go and place it down here just a touch? Like that. 
What does that look like? How's how are we looking here? Okay. I mean, this could actually this could actually work. This could actually be the spot. I actually got a kind of good feeling about this one here. These trees, they will move. They will be gone. Don't you worry. As soon as we are, as soon as we, whoo, as soon as we have like battle one, I'm pretty sure we're gonna wipe out the entire island. That looks pretty good to me though. That looks pretty good to me. So let's leave that there, and we'll uh, we'll come back here. We got some items to grab. I can't believe we're actually going in and doing this thing. I can't remember how strong these bosses are is the problem here. But uh, I guess there's only one way to find out. Also, the ground is shook. And it's making me a little bit nervous. But it's okay, I guess. It's okay. So, uh, what are we going to need? Let's have a look. We are going to need ourselves. I think it was 5,000 metal. Hopefully, I've got that. Metal, metal. Oh, hold on. No. Scrap metal. Scrap metal ingots. Yeah, no. Metal ingots. Where's all my metal? I thought I had more than that. No. You tell me I gotta go collect metal again. Surely you've got. Surely. Or did I? I obviously spent it all. I spent it all. Ah. We gotta go get some metal then. That's okay. That's okay. We'll get that stuff in no time. It's all good. Just a little bit of a hiccup. That is all. All right, it's dragon dude. Actually, no, not dragon dude. Where's my phoenix? He's out the back. We're going to grab our phoenix. We're going to go quickly zip out. Get ourselves a little bit of metal. And get this boss summoned once and for all. I think we're just going to whip it right up here uh, to where we collected metal from last time. Even though it's going to bring back some pretty unfortunate memories. When I, yes, accidentally sacrificed my own phoenix. In fact, where was that spot? I thought it was out here somewhere, but I'm not seeing it. Or is it up here? Up here? I didn't think we had to go this far to find it, but I th I guess not. Where is my... Up here, up here, up here. Okay, this is the spot, right? Maybe? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good amount of metal up here. Also, hey, how you doing there, old phoenix? Uh, let me quickly just flip on over here and may as well give him a little bit of a stern talking to. Get that last little bit of primeval energy. Also, oh my gosh, that wreck is adorable. Rex. That Rex is adorable. Look at his big old blue hiney. That is awesome. That is so good. Anyways. Oh, by the way, I had I had messages again. People telling me that you can harvest with your phoenix. I still don't see it. Unless there is an ability I don't know about. It just doesn't let me do it. I should probably keep an eye on that that Rex, though. Yeah, I should probably keep an eye on that, but... Like, watch, watch, watch me just be reckless instead. <laughs> no, let's go do this thing. We've got enough. Well, we know that we've got enough metal, but we've got a good start. We'll throw it in there and we'll collect one last little batch right here. And that should be that. I don't even need much. We don't even need much. I literally need through three and a half thousand. I need 7,000 metal. 7,000 at the most, at the absolute most. I think that's about it. That's... 5,400. Okay, not enough. Need a tiny, itty little bit more. But that's fine because there is metal everywhere out here. There is no shortage of it. That is for sure. And there we go. Easy peasy, baby. Easy peasy. All right. We just got to let that stuff smelt up. We'll, uh, well, yeah. We'll, we'll throw it in our phoenix. We'll wait for that to happen. I could probably help him out a little bit, actually. Let's increase that crafting skill. Tiny little bit more. Let's get movement speed up a little bit so I can fly back to base even faster. And uh, our metal will be in our hands in no time. Ah, home sweet home. In fact, I'm just going to... I was going to say I was going to land my phoenix just straight in the base. That way, all of our metal is together. Um, but obviously, I missed the base there for a second. All right, so let's do this thing. So, I guess I'll just grab that for now. I don't know how long this is going to... I don't know how fast this is going to run. Not very, apparently. Not very at all. Okay, uh, oh, then again, it does 20 at a time. I forgot that. You're giving me quite a bit as well, but we still need more. We still need more. In fact, you know what? I don't even know if at this rate it speeds it up any further because when you're looking at it, it's literally over 50,000% crafting skill. I know that there's got to be a cap on it. It does. It, look like it's, it looks like it's hit that cap already, but oh well. It is what it is. Uh, I guess he's not going to be slow, so that's good. That's good. That's a good thing. Uh, but let's grab, let's grab everything that we need. Element. Oh, no, I already got the element on me. I was going to say I don't have enough element, but no, we are good. Polymer, we only need a thousand of, but hey, I know we got plenty of that. So let's just grab that like that. Uh, we got another 1500 metal, which is nice. Wait, was it two and a half thousand? 
Or was it 5,000 that I needed in total? Because that's already just over 3,000. That's a good start. But I need more. I think I need more anyways. Um, should I go and find out? Should I go and find out? Or should I just go and break up some of our metal items? I don't think I've actually got any metal items because we seem to not have any supply grates on this darn map. But how are we looking here? What do I need? We have... Um, I only need a thousand elements. So we'll put a thousand of that in. We need 5,000 metal. We do need 5,000 metal, unfortunately. Another 1,700. We'll have that in no time. Don't you worry. In fact, while we're waiting for it, you know what you guys could do? Go and check out our Rob the Rex plushies. They are only on sale for another six days. They're coming to an end very, very soon. And once that sale ends, they'll never be obtainable ever again. Um, this is a one-off. One-off. Six days remaining. Thanks to everyone who has already bought them. We have, we have exceeded anything I could have imagined or expected. I did not expect uh, as many of you guys to go purchasing them as you have. Uh, but thank you, thank you, thank you so, so, so darn much for uh, purchasing your own little Rob the Rex plushie. All righty, we're just about there. We've got a little bit more metal. In fact, that's it. I think that was it, right? We only needed like 1,500 more, I think. Or was it like a little bit more than that? Was it 1,500 or 1,700? I don't actually know. I can't remember. But uh, look, I think my Phoenix here will have another 100 or so on him. Yep, 200. That's that. That's that. We got everything that we need. The question is, who are we going to take into this battle with us? Who is going to help us with the very first Ascension boss? I'm pretty sure we got everything that we need. We've got potions. We got health potions. We got we got plenty of everything. Um, the question is, do we have plenty of metal, or do I need to just wait a tiny little bit longer to get a tiny little bit more? I so feel for all of these wild dinosaurs in the area too. These poor guys are about to get absolutely annihilated. They do not know what is coming to them. The poor guys. Oh, you got to be kidding me! Oh, you've got to be kidding me! I'm seven metal short. Seven metal short. Seven stankin. Metal shot. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'll quickly just I'll quickly just dip down. Oh my gosh. I thought we were good for it, but no, I guess not. Okay. So what are the risks involved with this battle? One, well, if we if we die, we obviously lose our dragon. Two, we lose ourselves. Three, we lose all of these resources and we have to go and conjure them up again. We gotta go and get ourselves another five thousand metal. Plus, I guess the arena. So ten thousand metal all, all up. I don't want to go and get that as much as you guys don't. So let's just hope that everything goes according to plan right here, right now. Let's do this thing. Let the fight commence. And let's craft this thing up. And let me go and take all my resources just in case things go really, really wrong right now. All right. All right. All right. Dang. You don't waste any time at all. Okay. I thought we'd actually have a couple seconds before the old arachnophobia dude arrives. But uh, there he is. The ascendant brood mother Lystrix. With 228 million health. This was a bad idea, wasn't it? Oh, this is a terrible idea, but let's do this thing. Let's go. Let's see what we've got. Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm in a lot of trouble. Oh, we are in so much trouble. Um, We're dealing less damage than we're dealing to Tempest. Not only that, but my dude here deals a ton of Torpor. Uh, so we have both health and Torpor to worry about. Um, Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That poison attack. We gotta keep an eye on it. I can't keep my hand off the keyboard. That's how that's how scary this is actually gonna be. I can't let go. I can't let go. He's gonna do it again any second. He's gonna do it any I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. I need to save these potions just in case. But when's he gonna do it? Alright, I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna drop it. I can't wait any longer. So it seems oh there it goes again. Okay, that was the attack I was waiting for. So it seems like damage isn't the broodmother's strong suit. Um, yes, he deals quite a bit of damage, but uh, not as much as he does poison. I think poison is going to be our shortcoming here. So as long as I make sure we do not fall asleep, yes, make sure we stay awake for this entire battle. We might be okay. We might be okay. Uh, we've definitely got enough potions to keep us awake. Health potions, on the other hand, we're going to have to wait and find out, I suppose. It's going to be... Actually, can I fly for this battle? Can I do that? I actually don't think I've ever taken a flying dinosaur into this battle before. We can actually fly for this? He can't actually attack us. Wait, for real? I can just I can just chill up here. I didn't think you were meant to fly in this arena. Wait, for like actual? 
I thought he'd just be like all the other Pugnation bosses where they drop their like a bit. Oh, that fire column. Gonna kept all of that. But I thought it'd be like every other of the Pugnation bosses where they, I don't know, they've got their little ability and it grounds you every so often. But no, I can, I can literally just sit up here and burn this thing to a crisp without anything, without anything. I hope nothing backfires. Um, I'm, I'm still, I'm still kind of just waiting for something to like happen that really like stops us from doing this. But this is, uh, this just feels a tiny little bit cheaty. I feel like I'm taking advantage of the poor, poor giant creepy spider. Oh well, it's not my problem, is it? Oh, I think it just, I thought it was something in some minions. But uh, this is, uh, well, what can I say? You gotta evolve, big old spider buddy. You gotta evolve like my spider did. My spider grew wings and evolved into a Mothra that then died that same day. You gotta, you gotta take out of, take a page out of Mothra's book. <laughs> uh, or just, you know, not do what you, I don't know. I don't know. I think, uh, I think this battle is pretty much done though. Yeah, we're not even halfway through it, but I'm pretty much waving that victory flag. I don't, I don't think anything can go wrong from here. I think we got this in the bag. I think this is, uh, this is a little bit, a little bit too easy. I need like an auto clicker or something because the only thing that's going to stop me from winning this battle is my arm cramping, which it already is. My forearm is like falling to pieces right this second. <laughs> and boy, oh boy, they're getting sore. But let's just keep on the heat. Keep it going. Oh my God. Actually, I don't even need to click this frequently. It's a fire breath. I only got to click like once every couple seconds. But gosh, I like got to switch up hands or something because my hand is so darn sore right now. 120 million to go. We're not even halfway. Well, I think this is a good time for a montage. Well, we've gotten him well below 100 million health now, but um, yeah, still still like 70 million. So it's pretty much like half a Tempest at this point. We're, we're grinding him down. We're working him down. It's just... Um, yeah, what can I say? One of the one of the <laughs> one of the least one of the least exciting boss battles uh, ever, literally that I've ever experienced. <laughs> the fact he can't even hit me is actually pretty funny. What can I say? But uh, hey, look, what's that? 60 million, 55 million. We're, we're three quarters of the way there, so we've only got a little bit left to go. Is that you got? <laughs> It's actually kind of funny. Look, I know that this is just like a little bit of... Uh, it's one of those things when you got a flying creature. How do you combat it when you can't leave the ground? But I, I was just laughing thinking about this versus some of the uh, some of the boss battles that we experienced in the Dino Overhaul X mod where we got absolutely annihilated. Like, there was, for something like this, he would pretty much like one-shot us. If you tried to use a technique like this, you, you don't want to get stuck like above a spider or something in that mod. There was always something just waiting to surprise you and just destroy you to bits. And I guess that's why that was a hardcore experience compared to, <laughs> compared to this, which we still managed to like have died 50 times over this entire series, which is pretty poor on my part. Hey. I guess that's uh, it's literally my middle name. Death, not danger. Death is my middle name. Yes, my death, not not anything else. I, I die more than I... I probably die more times than dinosaurs I kill. I also get my dinosaurs killed. I don't know who's... I don't know whose deaths they... Like, whose tally they count towards getting my teams killed. Do they, do they count towards the me getting dinosaurs killed or me getting myself killed? Like, do they count to my death? I don't know, okay? I don't know. What I do know, though, is the broodmother here has only 15 million health to go. We're nearly below 10 million. I'm kind of curious to see what we get from this. I can't remember what he drops. So that would be a nice little surprise on the other side of this battle. But um, let's have a look. Let's see what the old uh, sense and brute mother Listrix wants to hand over to us today. Maybe it's a piece of the uh, tech armor. I can't remember. But, uh, well, we're about to find out. In three, in two, in one. Let's give him a nice... Well, I was going to say we'll give him a nice little nibble as a send-off, but I guess we didn't have the opportunity to do that. See you later, buddy. See ya later. Also, they don't normally have this little death animation, do they? Normally they like curl up in a bowl and like like a proper dead spider does. I've never I've never actually seen a brood brother just like lose its legs. Its legs just turn to jelly. It's like a little jellyfish. Hey buddy, not so tough anymore, are ya? Not so tough now that you're dead. <laughs> Anyways, oh we got some candies. I can actually pick these candies up. So let's go and grab these little things. 
Um, yes, as you can see, I wasn't uh, looking at how much damage we were dealing. I think we kind of just took it for granted that uh, we, were, we were kicking his butt. So, what do we got? Let's have a look. We got... Oh, I forgot that they dropped sacrifices. Oh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, we got our third Trax sacrifice. If we want to get another one of those, we can do that. Actually, we never got one. Did we? Hey, all right. That's cool. We got us a max experience potion. If only I had 30 of those, that'd be the best thing ever. But cool, cool, cool. One of those would be great. Uh, we got the the fangs. So what the fangs are going to let us do, if I remember correctly, is we can come over here. Can I end this battle or what? Or am I meant to wait? Am I meant to go through all the battles? I think I am. Oh, no. I think I messed up. But basically, you throw that in here and now you can summon in the Megapithecus. Um, I don't know if I'm ready for the Megapithecus because he actually has the attacks that can get me in the sky, unfortunately. But I don't think he actually dropped us. Wait, you get a buff. That's right. I forgot. So as you can see down the bottom right hand side of the screen, we've got a nice little, it looks like one of your little implants. Ramshackle Ascension. I can't remember what it says and I can't, I can't read it either. So let me quickly just get myself a guide. I don't know why I dropped these. I dropped one of these. I need some thatch first. I drop one of these guides literally every single episode for some reason. I don't know why I do it. I should just hold on to it. And then I can stop crafting them. Uh, but let's just get this thing here. Or two of them, I suppose. Hello, Pegamastax. How you doing there, mate? Bugger off. Will ya? Oh, gosh. Not you. You know what? Bring it on. Bring it on. I'll take you down with my own two hands. Yeah, we've come a long way since you were a threat. Anyways. Uh, the the uh, ramshackle. The ramshackle ascension buff. This will provide you with a permanent buff that increases the experience that your dinosaurs receive when they are ridden or in range of you. Oh, that's going to be so handy for what I want to do tomorrow. If you are not using a Pugnacia player pawn, uh, you will get a craftable item that gives you a temporary buff that will persist until death. The item is then craftable in your inventory. Okay, that doesn't attain to us, but that is awesome. That is awesome because you know what I plan on doing tomorrow? I plan on taking out my little Glacial Giga Squad, our little army of Gigas, and going on an absolute tearing spree of... Well, just to see what we can do. How strong of an army of Gigas we can build up. Unfortunately... Oh, wait. I can actually pick that up. Oh, cool. I didn't think we could pick that up, but that's awesome. Great. Fantastic. Nice. We'll save the arena for another time if that's the case. But we have taken down the Broodmother, and I guess tomorrow... Uh, or maybe tomorrow, maybe another day, we'll go and get ourselves. We'll go and take on Megapithecus. Maybe I'll even take in our army of like 20 Glacial Gigas. <laughs> Once we've got them all maxed out, of course. We've got to max these guys out first. Maybe we'll just throw them all in there and see how fast they can take down a G uh, Megapithecus. I think that'd be a pretty, pretty fun thing to do. But guys, we're going to call this one here. This is a little shorter episode than usual, but I hope you've enjoyed it anyways. If you did enjoy the video, please go ahead. Punch that thumbs up. Make it rain. Those thumbs ups. Go ahead. Check out some shorts on my shorts channel. I'll have a little card on the screen. You can just click it or um, just head to my channel and you can find it through that. Go check out Rob the Rex plushies. Only available for another five or six days. But most importantly, guys, keep on smiling. Have a fantastic day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye. For now.